If you are looking for a playful and cuddly dog, a Tika Poodle is a great choice for you. But if you are looking for a dog for elderly people, then a Toy Poodle would be a better choice. But overall, which dog is best for your home and lifestyle? This thing you will decide in the end of this video. So let's start with the penis difference. Both dogs are small in size and they have a similar eyes dark and oval shaped. Although the Tika Poodle weighs less than a Toy Poodle. The Tika Poodles weigh between 2 to 6 pounds and stand between 6 to 9 inches tall. And the Toy Poodle weighs about 6 to 9 pounds and is about 10 inches tall. So let's discuss personality and temperament difference. The Tika Poodle love attention and always want to be close to you. They get so attached to their owners and they suffer from separation anxiety. So you cannot really leave them home for a long periods of time by itself. Their attention-seeking disposition does not make them very loyal though. These pups are extremely playful but play with cautions. Rough play can result in anticipated injuries. If you are not an active person, they could be a good fit for you. Their tiny bodies cannot contain so much energy, so they do not need as much exercise as larger dogs. A few short walks and small amount of play time will keep them happy. On other side, the toy poodles may be a little shy at first. Once they are well settled into their new home, they quickly become very affectionate companion. The toy poodle is very well natured dogs, which means that they are suitable in a range of homes. From families to couples and individuals who are active or senior. As long as their needs are met, then these dogs will thrive and their wonderful personality will shine. Number 3. Grooming and Shedding Difference One of the main reasons someone might be attracted to a poodle is their minimal shedding allergy friendly coat. The TK poodles have the same curly medium length coat that the toy poodles have. The perk of these springy coats is that they do not shed. But that does not mean that taking care of their fur is easy. They should be brushed every single day. Both of these breeds have a tight curl, can easily become mated. So, it is essential that you brush them often to remove dead hair from their coats. Number 4. Exercise Requirements The TK Poodle have a moderate energy level, so they do not need an excessive amount of exercise per day. 2-10 minutes walk a day along with 20-30 to 30 minutes of playing should be enough. Exercising them can be a bit tricky because they are so incredibly fragile. Their small bodies make long walks, playing outside and even running around dangerous. With the right precaution, you can easily tire them out. On other sides, the Toy Poodle do enjoy being athletic. It is important to keep their small size in mind. Their size can make them prone to injuries if an owner is not careful. Around an hour of daily exercise is enough to keep them happy. Number 5. Training Difference the TK Poodle and a Toy Poodle are very intelligent and respond well to training. If you are patient and consistent, house training your Poodle will be easy and quick and even an enjoyable process. But the most important behavior to train your TK Poodle is to control its barking. By nature, they love to bark. But if you are living in an apartment, this is not ideal. You can accomplish this by rewarding your pup for quiet behavior. As these pups are so small, it is very easy to overfeed them. These little guys can quickly become a little chunky. So, to avoid an overweight pup, only feed them half cup of kibble each day. Feeding them multiple times a day is especially important to avoid low blood pressure. Any type of food, wet or dry will work, but it is best to buy dog food that is made specifically for small dog breeds. This will help keep those extra pounds off your pup. It is also important to purchase a food that is high in proteins to give your poodle the energy it needs to maintain its playful personality. Number 7. Health Problems Unfortunately, these beautiful pups can suffer from many diseases. Regulation on Tika Poodle's breeding are not very strict. Many health problems have arisen. Due to their small stature, hip and elbow dysplasia are very common. And this is a condition that causes joint instability in either to hip and elbow. 
which can be quite painful for your dog. They can also suffer from patella luxation because they tend to pull up dangerous stunts and they injure their breakable bones quite easily. Unfortunately, they have many medical issues involving their adrenal glands including Addison's disease and crushing syndrome. Both diseases can be fatal if left untreated, so it is important to monitor them for any of these symptoms and alert your vet with any concerns. And the Tri Poodles on average live long and healthy lives due to having responsible breeders and owners. However, there are some health problems that they can be predisposed to progressive retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia, and Addison's disease. Number 9 Puppy Cost The teacup poodles from breeders are quite expensive and can cost anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. If you are willing to rescue one from a shelter, they typically only cost about $400. You should expect to spend about $900 annually on various expenses such as food, wet bills, grooming, and toys. And the Tri Poodle puppy costs anywhere between $1,000 to $2,000. Number 10. Lifespan Difference The life expectancy of Tri Poodle is between 10 to 18 years, and the Teacup Poodle can live between 8 to 15 years.